What's up YouTube? My name is Kianja. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing y'all this wig that was sent to me by the company. I believe is Abilie. I'm going to put them on the screen as well as in the description box below. This is a 16 inch body wave unit and the density is 130%. And this is a 4x4 lace closure unit. I'm just showing you guys the packaging, how it came packaged, what you get in your package, all that good stuff. This is a very affordable Amazon wig. And yeah, I'm just going to be showing y'all how I slayed the install. This wig was literally $70, super cheap, under $100. And yes, I'm about to show y'all how I slayed her. This is the inside of the wig, the way it was constructed, all that good stuff. You get the three combs, you know, the usual adjustable band, all that good stuff. And I'm just showing y'all like kind of like a close-up, running my fingers through the hair. The hair straight out the package was really soft, so that's a, that's a good thing. The hairline low-key came a little bit pre-plugged, but of course I had to go in and customize it and all that good stuff. I went ahead and did some flat iron curls and all that stuff on my mannequin head, bleached the knots, plucked it. I think I said that already, all that stuff. I'm just showing y'all what I used. Um, if I don't have a customization video up by now, it's coming soon. But just to show y'all like what I do before I install my wigs, because I do customize them first on the mannequin head before I install them. Just makes the process a little bit easier. And yes, these curls were like a little old. I had customized it and went about my day and had to do some other stuff. And then I came back to this wig maybe like an hour or two later. So yes, I'm just putting some layers in the hair with the razor comb. And I honestly did not feel like redoing these curls. So I kind of left them how they were and I just played around with the wig. I thought I cut myself, but <laughs> I'm just going in to cut the lace. Now, what I will say about this lace is it melts it really, really, really nice after I bleached the knots and added my makeup to it. Um, but I didn't like like the grayish tint. Y'all know that type of lace that had that grayish tint to it. Um, I feel like I'm the finesse queen when it comes to this hair stuff. So I can like I can finesse my way through it. But yeah, I wasn't like a super huge fan of the lace. But what I what I will say is that it melted really really nicely with my skin tone after I bleached it and did my makeup on it and all that good stuff. I used my foundation on it and. Now I'm just cleaning my hairline with um, alcohol, as y'all seen. And I didn't do no um, ball cap method or anything. I haven't been doing a ball cap method lately for my wigs, especially when they close your units. I just been doing it the lazy way. I have some braids underneath, put my wig caps on, and then just install the wig. So I'm just installing it with Got To Be Glue, as y'all can see. Super easy, super sim simple. And this is very beginner friendly. I'm just blow drying it on like medium heat. And then um, I did do two layers. I laid it down and blow dried it some more. And as y'all can see, I think, in my opinion, it melted really, really nice. And I knew it would because um, you could tell, like, when how a wig is going to look and how it's going to melt um, when you lay it down and put it on your head before gluing it down. Like, if it looks melted before you even glue it down, sis, you know it's going to be just going to be melted. It's going to be slayed. So I was already expecting it to give what it's giving right here on the screen period <laughs> so now i'm just doing my baby hairs um i have a few like closure wig tutorials and how to like make a closure look like a frontal i think i didn't master it in my opinion um when it comes to how like my baby hairs to look so i always do three baby hairs and i do two on the end one in the middle it just gives that effect of a frontal like the hair and the baby hairs are continuing to the other parts of your hair like a frontal would so that's why i like to do my baby hairs this way i just do three one in the middle two on the sides and i think it looks super natural real nice and yes i'm just gonna let y'all watch me do the baby hairs nothing to it i'm just using got to be glued and doing the same old same old So right here, I'm just kind of playing with the curls, just playing with the hair. Um, what I will say about this hair is that it's not bad at all, especially for the price, but the ends, not a huge fan of them. And a lot of Amazon companies, like the cheaper wigs, 
um, you get like the thinner ends. And this is, I wasn't expecting <clears throat> the hair to be super thick because it is 130% density, which I think looks very natural, but I wasn't a huge fan of the ends. I thought about cutting them off, but I just end up leaving them. Um, I think like when you curl hair, it camouflages like stuff like that real nicely. So now I'm just going in with my hot comb, my new hot comb, y'all too excited y'all know when you're dealing with a wig if you don't know hot combs is going to be your best friend to lay that wig down i absolutely love my hot comb when it's time to customize the wig honey that's what gets it laid that's what gets it melted that's what gets it looking how it's looking and that's just on period i had broke my other one long story short so yes overall y'all i really do enjoy this wig <laughs> that's what i'm talking about <laughs> wig for the price it's not bad at all if you're looking for an affordable cheap you know four by four closure wig that's easy to install i definitely recommend this wig so yeah y'all that basically wraps up the voiceover part of the video and the install part of this video um, i'm gonna beat my face all that good stuff and just talk to y'all for a little bit so stay tuned so you can see the entire finished look do my makeup and then come back and maybe fix the curls because i'm really just not feeling like it right now y'all understand i sat here and did these curls for like 20 minutes and yeah i kind of just did it i did them on my mannequin didn't like how they turned out and i put it back on my head and recurled it so i'm just gonna do my makeup and come back All right, y'all. So I just got home and I remembered, like, dang, Kendra, you ain't even close out the video. You forgot to finish the video. So that's what I'm here to do now. Um, clearly, my hair ain't fresh no more. And, child, I done went out. I done ran some errands. I done voted. I done do all type of stuff. And I still look okay for what I what I did today. This hair, I mean, it's decent. You get what you pay for. I'm pretty sure I was probably talking to y'all about it in the beginning, like, in the middle of the video or whatever. But, I mean, you get what you pay for, y'all. Ends. I'm not a big fan of them. Most of these was off Amazon. I don't be a big fan of the ends. But other than that, I mean, you get what you pay for. It's not bad for the price at all. Really, like this closure melted real nice. Uh, did have like the gray lace or whatever. But like I said, y'all, this was a cheap wig off Amazon. So yeah, I just wanted to close this video out. I'm about to demolish my Chick Fil A. Yep, that bag right there. We finna cue that. And yeah, I will see y'all in my next video. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe if y'all enjoyed this video. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Never ask what you love, pick up the phone when you're home. Never ever ask what you show me some love, kiss me some hug.